Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Excel 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change margins and headers in page layout view. Let's get started. So you'll see my worksheet right here, and the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to change your margins. It's in the page layout tab, so click on that, go to the page setup group, and then you can choose your margins. I'm going to choose normal for now, and we need to see how normal looks before we can start adjusting it from there. The way that I could preview it is by going to file, and then down here to print. If I click on print, it'll show a preview on the right side. I currently have normal margins listed right here. The margin says left and right is set to 0.7, whereas top is set to 0.75, and same with bottom. That Those numbers are the amount of inches from the top, left, right, and bottom of the page. Okay, So as I increase that number, say wide, that's going to increase top to one, bottom to one, left and right also to one inch. You're going to see that wide margins push the content more towards the middle of the page to give more uh, room on the edges. And so if I click that, you'll then see that my content gets more uh, pushed more towards the middle of the page. Whereas the opposite is true for narrow. Narrow has smaller numbers here, and so this will push it more towards the edge of the page. You can see that the left footer is 0.25, and so we only expect that to be about a quarter of an inch from the edge of the page if I click on this. And you'll see that yes, that's true. All of my content gets pushed way to the left side of the page. You could also set up custom margins. The way you do that is you click right here on margins, you go to custom margins, and then you could type in any numbers for the top, bottom, left, right, header, or footer to customize your margins completely. The next thing that I'm going to show you how to do is set up a header in page layout view. If you go to the view tab right up here, and you go to the workbook views group, you're going to see this button, page layout. If you click on page layout, it's going to switch your layout to what it'll look like if it's printed out. You'll see that the page that is in white is your active page. Any grayed out page, these are inactive pages. So I see that my document's going to print on one page here, and I see up at the top a header section. Now the header section is where you can type in any content information. So if I click in the left section here, it will print a header into the top left section. If I go over here to the middle, it'll put it in the middle section, and over here will be in the right section. Now the cool thing about this area is that you can actually go to your header and footer tools design tab as long as you're clicked in one of these three boxes. If you go to this header and footer tools design tab, you could then customize what you want to put in here based off of header and footer elements. And so I could go right here and let's say on this left side here, I want to put in the file name. Well instead of just typing the file name, I could go to again this tab, the header and footer tools design tab, header and footer elements group, and I could put the file name right here. And it'll say and file in brackets. And this lets Excel know that whatever the file name is, that should be displayed right here. Right here in the middle, I could just type out something if I wanted to, okay? And that's fine as well. And then over here on the right side, I could put something like the current date or the page number. And I'll go ahead and just put the page number right here. Okay, and it'll say and page. If I want to move back to my regular view, well, I could click down here, but notice it doesn't send us really back to normal view at all. It just as if I was editing the document. Instead, I'm going to go to the view tab, workbook views group, and click normal. That'll send me back to my normal view from my header and footer. Now notice that in the normal view, the header doesn't display. Well, the problem is, is that if the header were displaying here, it would take up an area in our cells. And we don't really want to see that in this case because our header, again, is customized in the header and footer tools design tab. So if I go to the file tab and go to print, that's where you'll see the header being displayed. You could also insert a footer using the same method, only you go down to the footer area and type in or use the header and footer elements tool to uh, put your information down there. So hopefully this video has taught you a little bit more about margins and header and footers within Excel. If this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.